Hey y'all, it's Kadisha. I'm back with another video. It has been a while, um, probably like two weeks. And so I'm excited to actually get back on here and share with you guys some things that I have just been learning. Because of course we know when we take a break from something and we go back to it, we have new eyes, fresh eyes. And last night I was talking to my family about stewardship. And I feel like the Lord gave me the word of stewardship takes discipline. And oftentimes we don't think about that. We think, oh, when I just get more of this, I'll learn how to do it. But the Bible talks about he who is faithful in little will be faithful in much. And so we have to remember that when we're wanting to require more, realize that if you're not faithful with the little that you have, if you get more, you're only going to be, you know, more um, <laughs> not faithful. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know how else to put it. So I just really want us to hone in on that and realize that it's going to take discipline to require or to be able to get more because getting more, and we, we often hear the stories about getting more money with the lottery. When people win the lottery and you often hear about them going broke within however long, you think if somebody wins so many millions of dollars, of course we know, excuse me, that they tax this money. But however, if you win this much money, you would think, oh, this person is going to be fine for the rest of their lives. And that's not the case. And most of the times it's because they're not faithful in the money that they already have. And sadly, that is so sad because you would think no one would ever lose that much money being that quickly, especially. But it just goes to show that if you're not faithful with the little that you have, when you get more, you're not going to be faithful with that as well. And one character, uh, and I say character, I hate to say character because they're not characters. One person that I wanted to highlight was so uh, Solomon. And you remember in the dream, in the dream of First Kings, the Lord talked to him in a dream and was like, "What do you want?" And Solomon, being young and probably, we would say, naive, would say, well, well, maybe, you know, maybe we would say he's mature. But most of the time, kids ask for things that are probably more mature than adults. But he asks, give me the discernment to be able to judge the people because I am, you know, considered the judge. I'm the king. So give me the discernment to be able to judge them in the way that's going to be pleasing in your sight and it's going to be beneficial for the people. And the Lord said, because you did not ask for riches and honor and the head of your enemies and you know, all these things, because you didn't ask for the things are, that are just so selfish in a sense, I'm going to give you that, you know, that and what you asked for, but I'm going to give you twice over. And that takes discipline and it takes humbleness too to realize like what the Lord has called me to do is going to take me being intentional with my time. It's going to take me to um, have to have self-control and not just do what I want to do. And that all requires discipline. And I just want you guys to know that you can do it. You know, I want to encourage you, you can do it, but it is going to take work from you. It's not going to be something that's easy because we know this, we know the saying easy come, easy go. So we have to, and just stay, uh, stay disciplined, stay on the road because you will get your breakthrough. We, we always hear the saying, you know, hear the word, don't grow weary in well-doing because if you faint not, you will reap a harvest. And I just want you to realize that I'm not about encouraging just to just to encourage. It's like, no, I want everybody to live a great life and know that your best is really in front of you, but your best is up to you. And not to say that we can do anything about works. No, of course not. But it's just like we have to set, uh, ba basically we have to put ourselves in a position to where we will be trusted with the more that we want to receive uh, in the future. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're able to grab something from it. Uh, I hope you have a great week. And like I always say, sea como que quieres ver en otros. Until next time, bye.